welcome to the channel in this video i want to talk about snow plowing and what kind of damage has caused to the truck after three years of plowing so i bought this truck three years ago and equipped it with the snow plow right away and got to snow plowing uh immediately as soon as the truck was purchased it was purchased in october and we started plowing that year so uh certainly plowing wears down your truck it wears out your truck a lot quicker than just driving your truck but uh, I'm gonna take you guys around the truck and show all the damage that has occurred from snow plowing so it is brutal for the truck uh, going through all the elements driving <laughs> through all the elements and you know you're hitting these parking lots and you got those snow plow markers and sometimes you get too close to them and they're always smacking your vehicle uh, you say one of the snow plow markers may be like right here it hits your mirror and then it just whips back and forth and it slaps your truck uh, or you don't see one and you run them over or you might run one over and it might be underneath your truck and whatever uh, you hitting snow banks snow is always constantly you might hit a pile of snow and go over it and have a big pile of snow right up under the truck you know crazy stuff like that uh, definitely adds up I think one time uh, we were driving along and there might have been just like a boulder laying in the road and it just smacked up the front differential and just heard boom but uh you know, checked it out. There was no damage or there's no sign of anything ever happening, but I know it was loud. So it's definitely a lot that can happen when plowing snow. Uh, but we've never had any major accidents or anything. But anyway, I want to show you guys what kind of uh, damage that we do have. Uh, so number one, uh, we did hit a mailbox and we scratched the side of the truck here, but it didn't go through the primer, just to the paint. Just this long scratch. Most of the time you don't notice it. Uh, also to the tires you know after 20,000 miles tires are pretty shot you can't do another year of plowing like this and it is what it is I mean it goes through tires a lot faster just we're towing when we're not plowing so you know you're not gonna get the full term out of the tires you're not gonna get you know 40,000 out of a set of tires you, you know this is 20,000 miles but uh, we certainly have a lot more uh, rust opportunities uh, when you're plowing when we got the truck, we put mud flaps on it right away. And when I put the mud flaps on, I actually put grease like behind them. I don't know how much is still there, but I like put some grease like behind it. I don't know if that did anything. It probably came out by now, but uh, that certainly kept a lot of material off of the uh, off of the rocker panels and the pinch wheel down here. So when you look down here, that's not actually rust. That's like old grease. It's like brown now. Uh, there's little micro rust on the surface, but it's not like the paint's actually chipped. If you look real close, it just looks like uh, you can clearly see that there's little rust, rust-like marks on it. But I'm sure those can come off if you polished it or something. Uh, let's take a look underneath. Uh, all right. So as far as corrosion goes under here, uh, it looks like. There's some kind of looks like salt residue, even though we haven't plowed yet. But you can just see the rust that's starting to form on the surface of the undercarriage. The frame looks okay, but there's certainly rust. I would imagine that's more than normal. Uh, up in the bed, the bed's pretty good because we did wheel well liners. So that's pretty solid. Uh, the exhaust is definitely showing some rust, you know, but it's not crazy. Let's, let's take a look at the one thing one area that does get a lot of abuse is the exhaust manifolds they're right here and it's in this wheel well and they just get blasted if you look right there you can see that stud and good luck to anybody trying to get that off you probably have to take the stud out of the head uh, that's just the way it is so much corrosion gets there your starter is there too I think or no that's your AC condenser or AC, whatever. All right, let's take a look uh, under the hood. So the hood doesn't even want to pop. This truck only has 20,000 miles, miles on it, but the hood uh, doesn't want to pop. And I think it has to do with 
in the amount of <coughs> abuse it's seen over the years. So definitely abnormal to see rust on your battery clamp, I think. Um, but the engine looks pretty clean, but you can see like there's definitely corrosion on the nuts and bolts. I mean, look at that. What is going on there? You know, on that valve cover bolt, certainly rusted. Uh, you can see the rust on the alternator, uh, on the alternator pulley there. Seems a little bit more than normal. Uh, but still, overall, it's not terrible. It's not like the truck's ruined or anything by rust. But it's certainly showing signs of corrosion. Uh, the coolant could definitely be changed out. You can tell it's starting to get, get discolored. Um, but yeah, it's still a pretty clean engine. It still looks really nice and new. Just certainly showing little signs of rust. This probably needs to be lubricated. This latch here. But the paint's still good on the transmission cooler. So, I don't know, it's not too bad, but anyway, that is what the corrosion is like on a truck that's been plowing since new. Uh, truck has 20,000 miles. Hasn't been that ab that abused or anything, it's nothing more than normal. Certainly, trucks out there that have more use, that have seen more snow, but uh, your average little things, everyone's got a messed up tailgate, right? But anyway, guys, that's it for the video today thank you for watching please subscribe and have a great day